Hi everyone, this is the first video for the second lesson of the second kinematics pack. And it's all about free fall. So there's a few things it mentions at the top. That gravity, or the force of gravity, cause objects to accelerate towards the centre of the Earth. We ignore air resistance, um, so we can use gravity as a constant. So we use G, which is seen before at school on the floor, and we have three different values for G. 9.81, 3 sig fig, 9.8, 2 sig fig, or 10, 1 sig fig. Any question that mentions gravity, the final answer for that part must be the same accuracy as G. So that's really, really important. Right, gravity is always going towards the ground, we know that. This one's quite important. If I'm dropping something, it's dropping towards the ground, and gravity is going with it. However, if I chuck something up at first, the initial direction is up, and then gravity is fighting it, so gravity is negative. And this is what this bit here is saying, and it's linked to this. So if an object goes upwards, up is positive. So acceleration is fighting against it. Uh, so gravity is fighting against it. If it's projected downwards, so I drop it or fire it down, it's going with gravity, or gravity is going in the positive direction. Uh, so it's velocity. So if you imagine if it goes up, at the very top, at that point, the velocity vertically is zero before it changes direction, before it drops back down. So there, if I'm looking at like the velocity vertically, at that point in there, it's zero. Yeah. Right, so look at this example then. So it says, a, a book falls off the top shelf of the bookcase. So it's just falling straight down. So everything gets treated like a particle. It's going down. I'm taking my positive direction is going down. So my positive direction is going down. The shelf is 1.4 meters above the wooden floor, taking G to be 9.81. So it's going to fall. So there's the floor. It's going to fall 1.4 meters. And what's important about this is it's going in the direction of motion. I've set my positive going down. Right, so I'm going to set it up as a super. So S is 1.4 meters. It's going in the direction of travel because that's my positive is going down. My initial velocity is zero. It was just sat there until it fell off. Now I want the time, so I'm not fussed about me. Acceleration is gravity. So it's going with gravity. So I've kind of like my, my acceleration of it is a plus g, which we took as 9.81 meters per second squared. And the time is 101. So selecting from my SUVAT, the one without v is s equals ut plus a half at squared. So 1.4. 0 lots of t plus a half, 9.81 t squared. So that gives me, that's the one we've got, so 1.4, so a half of 9.81, so that's 4.5, four four is that right? 4.905 uh, oh t squared. Don't trust my own backs now. Let's see if it is it. Hang on. Menu 1. So 9.81 divided by 2, 4.905. Should really trust myself, shouldn't I, really? So then I can divide through by 4.905, oops, 1.4, 4.905. That would give me t squared and then square root it for t. And hopefully, uh, let's have a look what that gets me. So shift root, shift answer, as I think. So I get uh, uh, 
don't get the answer I wanted. Come on. Try again. So 1.4 divided 4.95. And the square root of gravity, though, this is not helpful. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'm getting a different answer here to what they've got. Let's do. I'll be pausing a minute. Here we go. Uh, just reading the wrong answer out. So that got me. Uh, just do the square of that. So it's 0 0.5, 3, 4, 2, 5. Now G is 9.81. So I'm looking at 3 sig fig. So I've wrote a better answer down in case I need to use that better answer. So then I'm going to put down this answer. So 3 sig fig for the time. Uh, part B then now. That's part A done. Part B wants to know the speed with which it hits the floor. So S is 1.4, U is 0. V, I don't know. A is 9.81 because it's going in the direction of travel. I actually know what my T value is, it's 0 0.534. But if I got that wrong, I might not use the one with T in it. But it's up to you which one you use. Really. If I think that maybe my T might be wrong, I'd use V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. Or if I'm happy, I just use V equals U plus AT. So V would be 0 plus 9.81 times 0.534. Uh, it might be that you want to use a better answer. I've got that the, um, the 0.53425, all the rest of it, I've got that in my calculator. So I might just want to do that times together. Uh, so I just use the actual the better answer. Uh, so it gives me 5.24099. So it's a three sig fig. There we go. So that's that first example done. In a little bit later, in seven minutes. But I'll stop there. I'll do another one.